What's up guys, Douglas from Bike School here and I wanna give you some tips to go faster on your BMX bike at the pump track. These world-class pump tracks are popping up all over and it's really cool to see because you can ride it even if you're virtually a brand new rider. You just have to know how to roll in, roll over the pump track, and you can work your way up to having incredible amounts of bike control. And this is so important for becoming a better rider later on because it builds a really strong foundation. So if you've already been riding the pump track for a little bit, but you see some guys there just going 135 miles an hour, like I am in this video, then you probably want to be able to ride the pump track at that level. So here are three tips. Teach you everything that you need to know. Take you to the next level. First, you need to know where each thing is. And what I mean by that is that some of the rollers are steep, some of the rollers are mellow, some of the rollers are close together, some are spread out. And when you get to the pump track, you need to do a practice lap. You need to cruise over it and just take a mental note of what things are where, because the way you approach each of these obstacles is gonna be slightly different. You wanna pump a steep roller a little bit different than a mellow roller. You wanna go through a, a close double a little bit different than a mellow double. And you need to know that right off the bat. You can't just pedal as hard as you can. And then like, you can't pedal during the pump track. You shouldn't be pedaling at all. And you need to know where each these things are so that you will have a more confident and smooth line through the pump track. The second thing is to have really good stamina. This just comes over time. You can spend some time in the gym on the treadmill, but the biggest thing that's gonna help you here is spend a lot of time at the pump track. This isn't something that's gonna be there right off the bat unless you're a triathlon, you know, triathlete or something like that. But you need to have that stamina because right off the bat, when you get into the pump track, when you start pumping it, you're not gonna have very much speed. It takes about a quarter of a lap or half a lap to really get into that max speed thing. And if you're already out of breath, you're already gassed by the time you get there, you're not gonna be able to build up any more speed and you're not gonna be able to go super fast at the pump track. So you have to have the stamina to get you by until you're at that point where you can really get a lot of speed. Now the third thing, this is the absolute most important thing, but you have to understand the different concepts within a pump track. So there's how to pump, there's how to roll in, and there's how to corner. All of these three things are gonna give you a good structure to understanding the pump track and maximizing each obstacle. Um, Nick has a really, really good video on the specifics of cornering and some drills that you can work on to become better at cornering. When you're flying into those corners, one, you wanna be able to do it safely. Two, you wanna have as much speed as possible when you get out of the corner so that you can hit those rollers and have even more speed by the time you get to the next roller. I can't get in depth in it in this video, so make sure you go check out the one that Nick did with the drills, and then you can practice those drills. The other thing is inside Bike School, we have a really in-depth video talking about pumping, because there's so much to it, and it's the way you throw your weight when you're approaching the roller, when you throw your weight after the roller, and how your weight transfer works to get you through these rollers with as little effort as possible. Again, well, that's way out, like I can't get that in depth in this video, so check that out if you're a Bike School member. Make sure you watch that and refresh yourself on the pumping uh, basics and fundamentals. But when you guys get a really good grasp and you have a full understanding of these three things, you're gonna be the fastest guy at the pump track. I almost guarantee it. So spend a lot of time at the pump track working on these things and I'm excited to see you progress. Thanks for watching, have a good rest of your day.